Welcome, welcome, Be Holy, Be Perfect community. Thank you for tuning in. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May he shine his face upon you. May he cause you to walk in holiness. May he cause you to receive his healing power and his un, un, undivided love. May you know that God is with you. May you know that God is with you. Don't forget the different uh, meanings of these different images that are flashing before you if you're watching the video. But if you're driving, I know a lot of... Uh, People uh, listen to the to the videos to the through the teaching as they uh, drive, uh, but if you just understand that these images they are showing how we transition uh, daily, uh, monthly, yearly in our life, and there are times that w there is a perfect plan. God have a perfect plan for us, but that don't mean that the plan uh, can't be damaged. That don't mean that a tornado won't come in or a hurricane won't come in and flood our life with stuff that we don't want or uh, uh, flood our life or blow the roof off of our finances or whatever. You know, it it, it don't mean that we are going to be uh, trouble-free, uh, suffering-free. It simply means that he have a blueprint and if we continue to go to him, when we have a flood or a storm or whatever the situation is, if we go to him and ask him to restore us through repentance, if we have caused, uh, if we have sinned, and through forgiveness and repentance, if someone has sinned against us. Uh, sometimes, and I just want to say this, sometimes when someone sinned against us, we feel that we feel that we don't have to ask God for forgiveness, but we have to search ourselves, examine ourselves, and make sure that we don't hold any grudge or make sure that we were not offended um, or anything by this person that sinned against us. Uh, and then we forgive them and we repent of the sin that we committed in doing um, the thinking and what we harbored in our heart. Now, let's continue on with God's biblical identity blueprint. God identity is a biblical identity it's a biblical identity it's based on his word his rules his uh regulations his law his teaching his instruction and today we're talking about love loving others loving others we spoke uh the other day about god's love uh loving god now we're talking about uh loving others and he replied, Luke 10, 27, and he replied, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and your neighbor as yourself and your neighbor as yourself. Now, let's talk about this neighbor thing, because sometimes we get all messed up with the neighbor thing. See, when God here is talking about uh, neighbors, he's talking about those in the com community of faith the community of faith, the covenant of faith, uh, because uh, actually there were no, uh, when we look at the structure of how the congregation and how the communities were built, they were, you know, they were built based on the principles of God. And, and a lot of times when people live within that community, they at least followed the no high laws. So they were at least uh, recognize God and live according to uh, the rules of God. Um, that maybe they were not as stringent as the rule that God gave Abraham and gave Moses, but they were still laws of obedience. Remember, there was laws governing God's creation before uh, he gave the Ten Commandments or the uh, Ten Words. So, as you see here, we got to make sure that we know our who our neighbors are first. That's one thing. And the other thing is that we want to do uh, to our neighbors what we want them to do to us. If we want a helping hand, we should give a helping hand. You know, we reap what we sow. As a man soweth in his heart, uh, that he shall reap. As a man soweth in his actions, that he will also reap. So when, when he say this, this is what he means. Luke 6 and 31, and you... And as you would like and desire that men would do to you, do exactly so to them. In other words, if you want a helping hand, give a helping hand. If you need support, give support. Uh, and even if you don't need support or whatever, do do uh, 
be kind, be generous, be gracious, uh, be compassionate, uh, feed the widows and the orphans, true widows and true orphans, you know, uh, help the homeless, help the, the fatherless. You know, these are things uh, that God is talking about, and these are things in our community that he is He's speaking of. And when we do this, it's, it's a blessing to us, but we shouldn't uh, do it uh, so that it's because it's a blessing to us, but we should do it because God says so. And when we do it just because we love God, then of the the blessings will overtake us. See, it's it's one thing to do things where we think that we have to do, um, and we do it out of somewhat out of fear or obligation. But if we when we do it out of love, when we do it out of love, there's a whole different channel of blessings um, and strength and power uh, that comes through the channels of the love of God toward us because. We are showing God that we love him, not for what he do for us, but because of who he is. This is why we're doing this. You know, so he's saying, you know, do to them what you want done to you. Now, if you want people to talk about you, belittle you, gossip behind your back, then that's what they're going to do to you. Because whatever you sow we will reap whatever we sow we will reap so if we want to subtract from someone by you know telling people stuff that they don't need to know about a a person that you know that may not be um uh as, as gracious or we uh then uh change a person's uh way they think and feel about another person you know, that we wouldn't want people to do that to us so we shouldn't do it to anyone else you know it's so if we really truly understood that what a word can do to an individual, we we would be so slow to speak like the Lord tell us to be slow to speak. But a lot of us, we just continue on in the madness. We continue on in the madness. Don't We never get control of our words. We never get control over our mouth. And we are always suffering. We're always suffering. Why? Because we're doing to others that we don't want them to do to us. Uh, but And then it's done to us. Why? Because, why? We didn't put a mother over our mouth. Uh, 1 John 3 and 10. 1 John 3 and 10. By this, it is made clear who takes their nature from God and are his children and who takes their nature from the devil and, his, and are his children. No one who... No one who does not practice righteousness, who does not confirm to God's will and purpose, thought, and action is of God. Neither is anyone that uh, who does not love his brother, his fellow believer in Christ. So that means that we don't have the nature of God because the, the nature of God, one of the attributes of God is love. And when he love us, so he expect us to love our brethren. Why? Because they are created in his image and in his likeness. And that is what? That is loving God. So <laughs> how do how do we uh, transform this into action? Because some people... Uh, because of immaturity or they just not learn or they have not been taught how to treat other people. They have different issues with interpersonal relationships and all this kind of stuff. You know, we have to ask God to give us the strength and fortitude and the endurance to deal with some people. And when, uh, when he lift the grace, you know, the grace, because see, that's a purpose of grace too, to deal with someone or a group of people that, you know, and if you didn't have the grace of God, you couldn't do. So that's uh, one of the things that grace is for. And moving on to what I'm saying here is that God give us identifiers, indicators. He give us credentials. And so he give us a whole list of credentials, uh, God's biblical identity blueprint. In that blueprint, there are certain uh, areas and we can call that uh, love. There's a one room. It may be uh, the kitchen, it, which is the kitchen is usually the heart of heart of the, the the house. And then you know it may be a closet. It may be a closet. It may be a closet where you store um, your emotions or what. However, but in these different structures or rooms in our being, 
in our being, in our spirit, soul, and body. You know, in those rooms, there are things that belong to God, and there could be things that belong to the prince of darkness. And we don't want that, and the only way we can get rid of it is to go to God, and God will remove that from us through what? Through repentance. He will cleanse us, what? Through the blood of the Lamb. Why? Because without the blood of the Lamb, without the blood, there is no remission of sin. So let us ensure, ensure that we are going, we continually, continuously examine ourselves so that we know um, whether we are our performance, I keep saying that, our performance standards is up to par with who? With God. That we are, as we look at our performance standards, because uh, God set them, then we will know, okay, uh, I'm offline here. I need to go to God and ask God for help. I hope the Holy Spirit, God has given us the Holy Spirit so the Holy Spirit can guide, teach, lead, comfort, strengthen. He's our advocate. He's a counselor. So he can counsel us in how to get right with God and how to cleanse every room, every room, every area from top to bottom uh, uh, in our temple, uh, in our house that is what well, that belongs to God. So he will do that. He will keep us strong in this. He will continue to do that if we come to him. So it's important. It's important that we go to God. This is God's identity blueprint. This is God's biblical identity blueprint. And so we have to, we have to do it his way. There is no other way if we say that we are living for the Lord. There is no other way if we say we are living for the Lord. So we have to love God. Yes. And then we have to love one another. And what God say when we love the brethren, we know that we have his nature. So we know that that is one thing for sure that we have of God when we love one another, when we love the brethren. So let us do that. So in the name of Jesus, let the Lord God cause us to love one another. May you be blessed. May you be filled with his spirit and love May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you and shine his face upon you and give you peace in the name of Jesus. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord.